If you're trying to make it big as a Turo host, you're gonna need some market data about your local area. I'm going to show you how to scrape this data from any market in Turo without getting blocked like other Chrome extensions do. We'll be able to scrape the makes, models, years, ratings, etc. for any car in any market, as well as getting the number of trips completed and estimated daily rate to get the projected revenue. So this is more or less a follow-up of a video I did about two years ago on how to do this. However, Turo has changed a few minor things on its website, and there were a few complaints in the comments section. I just wanted to clarify and explain that, yes, you can still scrape Turo. I just want to point out a few gotchas I think that a few of you guys are falling for. This first complaint says he's getting blocked while trying to record web traffic from Turo. So this has nothing to do with our approach as it's totally undetectable. What I think may be happening is that there's this new Chrome extension I've seen floating around here. I'm not going to mention it by name but it makes automated requests, and this person here said he's getting blocked by Turo after using it. So if you're using this unnamed Chrome extension, please don't, because you'll probably get blocked by Turo for making automated requests. And a few other people complain, some more eloquently than others, that they're not seeing the response data in the hard parts, so there are a few reasons that can happen. I'm gonna cover the most common ones. So just go to Turo.com and put in any location, either your current location or pick any city you want. You can also try France now, apparently, if you wanna see what French rental cars are like. And we're gonna talk about scraping this list of these 200 plus cars here. So this is the list of vehicles. We'll be able to see the estimated price, information about the vehicle, as well as the number of completed trips and rating. So right click on the page and hit inspect to open up developer tools. This will record our network traffic passively without Turo being aware of this. So one issue is if your developer tools are on the right hand side like they are, it could make the web page too narrow and sometimes it doesn't load properly. So try to make sure your console is on the bottom. Just use those three dots on the upper right hand portion of developer tools and click on the network tab and you can see what's going on in the network area. I just scroll around the map and click search this area. This may change in the future. Just kind of follow along with a general idea and you'll see the request load in your browser underneath the network tab. Sort them by size, you can see the biggest payloads are here under this search endpoint. This is very important, this is called API v2 search. This has changed since two years ago when I made the original video. So they return almost all the original fields, but they don't return some things like the fuel source, like before we could see if it was electric or not. But we can still see that we get the average price, we get the number of completed trips, we can estimate previous revenue, we get an image of the car, and we get some fun things like the make, model, year, and user rating. You also get the host ID, which can be useful if you want to scrape a super host's entire fleet. I already made a video about that. I'll put a link to it in the description, so be sure to check it out. To keep scraping more cars, just scroll around the map and click search this area here to reload more results. You need to click that button or else you won't get more results. You can see here though, it calls search two times. So I think Turo is doubling these up. This looks like a glitch on their end, but we'll go over how to deduplicate these at the end. Once you're certain you've seen these search things in your network tab, click this arrow here called export HAR to download a HAR file. If you don't see search in the HAR file, you're not gonna get good results. Then using the link in this description, just drag and drop your HAR file to our scraper. This will parse the HAR file and look for the interesting data containing the car data. Now you need to find this group API slash V2 slash search. This is very important. Make sure that you parse the group on this endpoint URL. You do not want this one, API bulk quotes V2. If you see this one, just collapse it and may show up first. Be sure to skip that one, skip all these other ones. Make sure you look for API V2 search. If you don't see this at this point, you need to regenerate the HAR file, go back to the video and try again. So here we get the ID of each car. We're gonna use this later for deduplication. Number of completed trips, we can see 14% don't have any completed trips. So there's some new market opportunity here. We can see the host ID if we wanna identify any super hosts. So we can see that distribution here. We can see a few other interesting things like if it's a new listing or not, the make of the cars so we can see in Miami, the majority make here is BMW followed by Mercedes. That's no surprising based on how flashy everyone is in Miami. You can see the model of the car, the user rating. Again, if it's new, it's not really gonna have any ratings. We can see the distribution here. Half of them are five stars. Type of car, SUV, type distribution, about half of them are cars, 43% are SUV and the other ones. We can also see the year here. I know a lot of you are looking for used cars, which makes sense. You could get by with something from 2020, that'd probably be fine. And this is the average daily price. We can multiply by the number of completed trips to get the estimated revenue, assuming each trip is only one day. Here's some information about the location, delivery, and you can see there are a couple other fields here and images to the cars. So you can download this as a CSV file. If you're on the free tier, you can download 10 rows of data, absolutely free, but otherwise you have to pay a little bit of money to download the full results. So here I wanna point out the vehicle's ID. We got some duplicates because their website seems to be calling that search endpoint twice for some reason. So here we can see that these are all duplicated. So no big deal, just make sure you use this vehicle's ID column and then deduplicate them either in Excel or Google Sheets or whatever you're using before running your analysis. 
So here we can see exactly half the more duplicates because it keeps calling that search endpoint twice. Tura, you may want to check that out. Anyway, here are the final results we can do our analysis on for any local market of Turo cars. Check out this video here on scraping any Turo host's fleet and like and subscribe for more.